about what I'm practicing, as opposed to just noodling. Hey everybody, it's Trent Austin from Austin Custom Brass. Hopefully you just uh, stumbled upon our mini lesson series, and we have tons of mini lessons out there right now online. I will put uh, right around this uh, time marker uh, a link to our mini lesson playlist. I hope you all are doing fantastically well. A bunch of you have asked, let me put my trumpet down, um, a bunch of you have asked, What's my jazz routine? And I want to just be very clear in saying I do a few things every day. Um, the chordal approach, which you'll see uh, in one of the mini lessons. The speed demons, which you'll see in one of the mini lessons. Um, tune learning, which I have another mini lesson launching a little bit later uh, that talks a little bit more in depth about tune learning. But the biggest thing I do is really, and this is so important, I want you guys to know, um, I self-diagnose my playing often, and, I, and that comes from recording every day. Obviously, I do a lot of recording for the shop via uh, Facebook or YouTube like you're seeing here, or Instagram. We do lots of recording, and that's not necessarily just to do it for silly reasons. It's actually to always take a barometer, uh, a marking of where I am as a player. And after I record, I put my headphones on and I listen. And I had, and I, I listen for the following things. In fact, you'll see a recent uh, uh, analysis of my own playing that I took notes on. So these are um, uh, screenshots that I took off my uh, computer from a PDF. I suggest that you also take screenshots of this and use this in your own practicing after recording yourself. So here's the first one content, what to play, you know, are you playing short phrases, medium phrases, long phrases? You could diagnose yourself so well. Uh, are you using syncopated, non-syncopated rhythms? Um, you know, what kind of uh, rhythmic values are you using? You know, are you using dense phrases or very sparse phrases? Uh, I tend to play very, very dense phrases. So you'll see how I circled sparse there. In other words, hey man, like, you know, like slow down and take take a breath of air or as miles said to coltrane once take the horn out of your damn mouth so um but you can see if you go through the list of things here and i'm gonna um keep it up for a little bit so you take a screenshot of this pause the video right now take a screenshot of this little note these are from hal crook one of my teachers um and we 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 spent most lessons actually talking about this and working on how to self-diagnose yourself as a player all right so this is going away in five seconds just wanted to show you again but there's three more okay so there's that first one the second one is the as it follows you know like our, and this is another level you can dig into your t you know like how's your time feel you know articulation and that's a huge one for trumpet players especially because i feel like we are lazy as all you know what in terms of how we articulate so be aware of things like this um pacing putting a pie chart and putting uh in the pie chart splitting it right down the middle so you equally pace your playing and resting or doing certain pie charts where you play for two bars and you rest for 14 bars if you're playing a you know 16 bar progression um, this is leaving in a few seconds. If you want to take a screenshot of it, do it right now. Okay? Moving on, there's one more in this sort of self-analysis. And this one's a little bit more in-depth, so we're going to pull this one up now. Uh, so you can see these are like great things to sort of wrap your head around when you're in your daily practice. Um, you know, like, okay, well, I need to work on, you know, my tunes, or I need to work on, you know, trying to play longer solos. I remember recording myself, and I was like, man, I'm playing really long. I'm going to turn this off for a second. I was like, man, I'm playing really, really long solos. And every solo I played on one concert was around two minutes and eight seconds. So it was like, you felt like it was an eternity, but in actuality, it was very short. So... Things like this, when I bring this back up, you're gonna get rid of my ugly mug in a second. I bring this back up, look, solo lengths. You know, like thinking about how you actually work on 
extended solos. Unaccompanied playing, there is a mini lesson on solo uh, trumpet playing, because that's something I love to do. Uh, free playing, which we should t talk about in, in uh, another lesson. And then the bottom one, self-critiquing, examined recorded solos daily. And that's huge. Uh, uh, again, I think a lot of people, oh, hold on, that's the last one. We don't need that one just yet. Uh, a lot of us, we don't record because maybe we're scared, we're fearful of what the recording sounds like. Just remember a recording is literally just a thumbprint in time. It's literally a snapshot, a screenshot, we'll say, of your playing. So if you want to improve, you need to record and you need to listen to it. I often tell students to take a recording, record it and throw it in a, a Google Drive or Dropbox or whatever you want for six months and then listen to it six months from now. Put a reminder on your phone, comes up, you go, oh yeah, I go and listen to that. If you see true growth, you'll be able to like really enjoy that recording. And you should uh, not be a fear-based listener. You should really enjoy listening to yourself and knowing that you're just a, it's just a step in the process. How to put all that stuff together, then you need to have a detailed practice plan. So this is a sample plan that talks about certain things like, okay, technique, etude, sight reading, repertoire, ear training, improvisation. And then you can put the time that you need. So say, you know, like, oh, nude, nude, that, that you need. Sorry, I'm a trumpet player. Um, so you can say, okay, well, I want to do, you know, this week plan, I want to do, you know, 20 minutes of technique, 10 minutes of etudes, uh, and 30 minutes of repertoire. Well, you write it out. Then you can take even more detailed notes. We'll dig into that a little bit deeper in the next live mini lesson, which will be a few weeks from now. So again, hope you enjoyed this mini lesson. I love the fact that you guys are sending great suggestions like this one. Please send a suggestion to us via email at info at austincustombrass.com or put a note in the comments here at uh, YouTube. Thanks so much for your great support. Hit the uh, subscribe button, which will be over here. And again, have fun practicing, because that's what it's all about, is about having fun. Take care, everybody.